at around uh, five past or four past seven. I heard a sound there. When I looked, at, I, I turned back. Uh, I saw two train colliding like this, and then after that, I saw another trailer falling down, and that one was coming from the behind, almost on top of the other train. I was in, sh in shock because uh, there was nothing I can do. I just stand and watch. I just wait for the emergency service to come. They took uh, so long to arrive. Prasa Rail CEO Mosengwa Mofi says this morning's train crash was caused by cable theft along the route from Pretoria to Attridgeville. He says the train was then operated manually, which led to human error, which caused the crash. Now, when the cables are reported stolen, it affects our signaling system. We operated the service this morning, the peak morning service, under abnormal work. 300 people were injured, including 50 school children. Eight of the injured are in a serious condition and the other two are critical in hospital. Transport Minister Ben Martin says his department will now conduct an investigation into the exact cause of the crash. The issue of cable theft in the past has been regarded solely as the theft of copper. But the ramifications of cable theft are much more grave than the mere stealing of 25 meters of copper. So it's time that we regard cable theft as attempted homicide or attempted murder. Because the results, if passengers die, will amount to that. Martin says he's also working with the security cluster to look into the problem of cable theft. Govan Whittles, Eyewitness News, Attridgeville. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.